Parliament, I did be by T4. And Che, I did be told, you are a speaker and backbing. Yes. A journey to me, so said the Speaker of Parliament, a declare seat Marco Marco for as vacant. So whom MP Boafo Kodrasante, you declare at vacant. Cynthia Mamley Morrison, Agona West, you declare in vacant. Afi Andrew Asiama Formena, you declare no at vacant. Anna Peter Yao Kwachaka, NDC MP, a Memphis Central. On so you declare no at vacant. Na speaker declares a seat vacant you in the for obe fe chambers wa na no e de pasesi asabra me no ka sey afenyo makin e ni speaker bagbe e de pemso e ni ano to ano ano to ano e koso na ana speaker ka sa ba ye afenyo makin entena se na o tena se no e no ka hwe mpc ni na so mo so ntiza me no ka sey mpp mpc o mo parliament ni na ai no mo call meeting no o mo nyina asori free chambers o no ma samri o mo pia free demo so mo jadan no and the Amara Bambabi and the Atu Force in TDC or Parliament. Now we are doing the Atu Comment section on them. Subsequent to that, I as hearing the intention of Mr. Speaker to come to a determination in one way or the other, the directed service, which is within my right, my. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, yesterday, Parliament was duly said. Honorable member, please, I didn't want to interrupt you. But you are the, the majority leader and the leader of this house. As at the time you were directing service yourself, you took the trouble of coming to Parliament with two persons who alleged to be bailiffs and went to the legal office and went to the legal office to yourself directing officials of the legal office to receive the service. You are a member of parliament. I am the speaker. It is my duty to protect your privileges and immunities. In, the, in doing so, I had the discussion with the Chief Justice, and we came to an understanding that in the meantime, the Chief Justice will issue a directive as to how service of members of parliament, some officers of parliament, and the speaker could be effected. I communicated this to the House and discuss it with you, the leaders. We said that as we go along, we will together, Parliament and the judiciary, particularly led by the Supreme Court, come out with a legislation on this issue of privileges and immunities of Parliament, members of Parliament, and specified officials of Parliament. We discussed this. Based on this discussion, the Chief Justice issued a directive to all registries of courts in the country. And it is stated clearly there that the Speaker can be saved on Mondays during working hours. There were reasons why we came to those agreements. You are aware of it, yet you kept on insisting that service be effected whilst the speaker was presiding over the proceedings of the house. You as leader of the house, as majority leader, you are saying that this was service because you threw the court processes on the table and walked away? Is that how you effect service? Please, Mr. to quote the common parlance, don't go there. Uh, with respect for the past 12 years I have accorded you every respect and I'll continue to do that no matter, 
Mr. Speaker, the facts you've put out are not true. Mr. Speaker, these are credibility issues, so I will respond honorable, for the record. Honorable, honorable. Mr. Speaker, somebody has told you something. Mr. Speaker, you reserve the right to be there to make your point. Let me make my point too. Mr. Speaker, no way. Mr. Speaker, no way. I will... Mr. Speaker, whoever told you, Mr. Speaker, whoever told you that I threw a paper at somebody, this has to do with my credibility. I will not allow her. No, Honourable Member, you don't listen at all. Mr. Speaker, I do. I never said Mr. you. Mr. Speaker, you said I never I said you threw a paper at anybody. Mr. Speaker, I Mr. never Speaker, said that. That's exactly what you said. Let the answer check it. You Mr. See, Speaker, that is what you said. You are being carried away by your Mr. anger. Speaker, you are being, not I'm listening. Not, Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. Honourable at all. Member, Honourable Member, Mr. Speaker, I'm not angry. I said the court process yes. was thrown on the table in the office. I never stated it was thrown by you at any person. Mr. Speaker, you said it, I allegedly said some, some bailiffs. Alleged I, I, bailiffs. I, I, Mr. No, 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 no. Mr. Speaker, then clarify. Mr. Please. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with respect, listen to me. Mr. Speaker, listen. Honorable Majority Leader, I don't want to proceed to make some orders. Please, resume your seat. I'm very serious about that. Mr. Speaker, Mr. please resume your seat. <laughs> Unprecedented ruling, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbing, has uh, through his ruling turned uh, effectively the majority side into the minority. Uh, let's uh, take you back to the House now and listen to the Speaker. Minority Leader. Right, Honorable Speaker. The Speaker, first, let me start by expressing our profound gratitude for your erudite ruling on this very important matter of national interest. The Speaker, you have indeed done what is right for the people of Ghana by sticking to the tenet of Ghana's constitution, our standing order, and time-tested precedent being a case law for this House. The Speaker, permit me to congratulate the NDC Majority Caucus for standing firm from day one, Mr. Speaker. Honorable member, just a moment. I can see a cluster of some members at one corner of the chamber. Please, honorable members, either you resume your seats or you move out of the chamber of parliament. Please, honorable members, can you hear me? Please, Marshal, kindly perform your duty. 9.7 FM. We're bringing you this because today the Speaker of Parliament has just declared four seats of the in the house as vacant. Now, uh, we'll try and break things down for you. I'm here uh, with head of political desk, here at Joy News, uh, Evan Smenza, to help you make uh, a sense of what is ha exactly happening. We understand that the MPP side of the house uh, have just walked out. Uh, we'll bring you um, details from what's happening in Parliament. Now, do stay with us, but uh, Evan's grateful for joining us. So. What does this ruling effectively mean? Uh, and this, this is seminal. This is unprecedented. This is historic. I mean, mm. you can find the words to describe them. But I see that Case Lato Forsing is back on his feet. We can go back and listen. See, majority caucus. <laughs> the speaker, from day one, from day one, we have not reneged on our responsibilities to work for the people of Ghana. Today is the beginning of the process to reset Ghana. Yeah. The Speaker, our country has gone through a lot. We have always made our point, but unfortunately we've not been able to succeed because we're not having the working majority. But now, we have the working majority. Yeah. 
Right Honorable Speaker, beginning the next parliamentary sitting, we'll begin the process to take over as the majority caucus of this parliament. And we thank you for the opportunity. Mr. Speaker, we have taken note, we have taken note of the fact that our colleagues the minority caucus, because the new minority caucus have just worked out. But that will not stop us from doing what is right for the people of Ghana. We will do minority caucus. Mr. Speaker, we thank you very much for this ruling. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, um, yes, uh, Chief Whip. Mr. Speaker, unless you have any further uh, information, I will move for the House to be adjourned till, till Tuesday uh, next week, Mr. Speaker. I so move. Honourable, honourable members, at least we will need to take the correction of uh, votes and proceedings and official reports. We need to take that it's a historic moment in this country because the Speaker of Parliament has declared some three seats on the majority best. side as vacant I, and one on the minority I, as vacant. Correction of votes and proceedings and official report. We will start with the correction of votes and proceedings of Wednesday, 16th October 2024. Page one. Page two.